first day excitement. It's a brand new day, and May is getting ready for school. Time to get ready. Over breakfast, May's excitement for school shines through. On her way to school, May's steps are filled with enthusiasm. I'm so excited! May's face lights up as she reunites with her best friend, Li Hua. Li Hua! Seated in the schoolyard, May and Li Hua share their exciting holiday stories. I visited a waterfall! May enthusiastically recounts her roller skating adventure. I tried roller skating! With the bell ringing, May and Li Hua rush to their classroom. Class is starting! May and Li Hua find their desks and prepare for the day ahead. Our seats are here! Inside the classroom, students catch up and express their excitement. Miss Tan, their teacher, welcomes the class with a warm smile. Good morning, class. May and Li Hua exchange welcoming smiles, ready for a fantastic year. The students are filled with eager anticipation for the day ahead. May and Li Hua embrace the promise of a new adventure. Best friend forever! New seat arrangement. May was a nine-year-old Malaysian Chinese girl who loved her school, SJKC Tun Tan Siu Sin, in Putra Heights. She had a best friend named Aisha, and they always sat together in class. But one day, everything changed. Their teacher, Miss Lee, surprised the class by announcing a new seating arrangement. May was moved to a desk next to Jonathan, who was known for his jokes. May felt nervous. As the days went by, May found out that Jonathan was fun and full of energy. He made her laugh with his silly jokes. May and Jonathan became good friends. May and Aisha still had lunch together. May shared her worries with Aisha. Aisha told her to give Jonathan a chance. May listened. Jonathan loved art and always had colorful pencils and drawings in his bag. He was different from May's old friends, but he was a great new friend. May realized that sometimes change could bring happiness. She learned that even a new seat in the classroom could lead to new adventures and new friends. Homework accident. In May's kitchen, Buddy's hunger led to math homework's chaotic fate, setting the day's tone. In the bustling school hallway, May's worried expression hinted at a pending dilemma. Miss Lee's classroom witnessed Buddy, the curious dog, at the center of students' attention. At the sunny park, a half-chewed math page took flight, dancing with a touch of mischief. On a peaceful park bench, Miss Lee's inquisitive eyebrow awaited May's amusing explanation. In the quiet library, a well-timed homework excuses book hinted at creative storytelling. Laughter echoed in the classroom as classmates found May's story heartwarmingly amusing. Aisha couldn't stifle her grin, sharing the mirth that Mee's amusing excuse had stirred. Miss Lee's twinkle-filled smile reflected the joy that even a dog's escapade could bring. On the blank chalkboard, unused chalk stood as a quiet witness to the day's memorable distraction. In the lively schoolyard, an unfinished sandwich awaited its owner's return. The colorful poster's message about laughter and learning resonated profoundly with the day's events. In the bustling cafeteria, Jonathan's nudge encouraged May to share her hilarious dog-related excuse. Within May's diary, Buddy's misadventure became a cherished entry, forever etched in her memories. On the school bus ride back home, May's smile held the essence of a day filled with laughter and stories. Rainy Recess In the bustling classroom of SJKC Tun Tan Siu Sin, nine-year-old May eagerly awaited the day with her best friend, Aisha. But the morning brought gray clouds, and Aisha's disappointed expression mirrored the gloomy weather. Amidst the sea of classmates, May wore a mischievous grin, and a brilliant idea dawned upon her. 
The students transformed the indoor space into a cushion mountain, and Aisha's eyes sparkled with adventure. Their colorful umbrella became an imaginative spaceship, launching them into a world of wonder and excitement. May, wide-eyed with amazement, explored imaginary planets as laughter filled the room. An obstacle course of desks and chairs was set up, and Aisha took the lead with determination. The room echoed with the joyous laughter of children as they played. When the bell rang, May reluctantly began dismantling their indoor playground, while Aisha wore a slightly disappointed look. However, despite the end of recess, May and Aisha left with beaming smiles. The raindrops continued to slide down the window pane outside. Back in the classroom, May and Aisha shared their exciting recess story with their friends. The students, brimming with energy, eagerly awaited the next adventure. Outside, a vibrant rainbow arched across the sky as the rain cleared. The missing lunchbox. In the schoolyard with a tall oak tree, May looks around, puzzled as her lunchbox goes missing. In the buzzing classroom filled with students, Aisha whispers to May, where did your lunchbox go? In the lively courtyard with kids playing, May and Aisha huddle, devising a plan to find the lunchbox. In the library filled with books, the school librarian suggests the lunchbox might be in the library. In the bustling cafeteria with lunch trays, the lunch lady hasn't seen May's lunchbox today. In the school garden with flowers, kids share wild theories about the lunchbox's disappearance. On the playground with swings, May and Aisha share a laugh over the funny theories. In the janitor's closet with cleaning supplies, the friendly janitor discovers the lunchbox and smiles kindly. Back in the courtyard with the tree, May excitedly retrieves her lunchbox from the tree branch. In the school hallway, a kid draws a picture of the lunchbox's adventure on the chalkboard. In the art room filled with colorful paint, the art teacher laughs, thinking the lunchbox went for a paintbrush ride. In the science lab with bubbling beakers, the science teacher jokes about lunchbox experiments. In the music room with instruments, the music teacher imagines the lunchbox dancing to a violin tune. In the computer lab with students typing, kids create a digital story of the lunchbox's escapade. Finally, in the school courtyard with happy children, May and Aisha return to their friends, sharing their lunchbox adventure story with smiles. Bake off! In the bustling classroom of SJKC Tun Tan Siu Sin, nine-year-old May eagerly awaited the great school bake-off with an apron on, ready to bake. May, with a determined look, decided to bake chocolate chip cookies, carefully measuring her ingredients. However, a chocolate chip disaster struck as the entire bag spilled on the kitchen floor. May's friends giggled while helping clean up the chocolate chip mess. May's best friend Aisha chose to bake a cake with a determined expression. But a mishap occurred when she mistakenly used salt instead of sugar. The cake turned out inedible, and laughter filled the kitchen. Another friend, John, decided to make muffins, hopeful for a tasty outcome. Unfortunately, he mixed up the oven settings, resulting in burnt, rock-hard muffins. The friends decided to use the burnt muffins as door stoppers, drawing more laughter. <laughs> Although they didn't win the bake-off, May, Aisha, and John left with smiles, their hearts full. The kitchen was a mess with flour and batter everywhere, but their spirits were higher than ever. They promised to practice for the next bake-off, armed with a recipe book and the anticipation of more hilarious baking adventures. Library Adventure In the school library, May's wide eyes spark with curiosity as she whispers to Aisha. They hesitantly push the dusty bookshelf, revealing a hidden door in the dimly lit room. May's fingers trace a weathered map, and Aisha grins, pretending to cast spells with a wooden wand. May tries on dusty old-fashioned glasses while the clock on the wall marks the passage of time. Unseen students bustle around, 
focused on their books, oblivious to the secret room's existence. As May and Aisha explore, their laughter fills the room, and their joy is contagious. They lose themselves in the ancient scrolls, giggling as they try on old-fashioned glasses. May waves a wooden wand, casting imaginary spells, engrossed in their hidden world. Reluctantly, May and Aisha prepare to leave their secret sanctuary, facing a classroom full of attentive students. Back in the classroom, students listen to the teacher with rapt attention, eager to learn. May and Aisha exchange excited glances, beaming with anticipation to share their incredible discovery.